Hello, Futong Chang here, founder of Chang Concrete. I'm here to talk about concrete countertops and concrete countertop making. One of the tools that we use are these rail and trivet strips. What do we use these for? We inlay them into the mold and they pull out after the concrete is hardened and then we can insert these decorative rails um, of brass, copper, or stainless. And this rubber material is 5 sixteenths of an inch wide. And these are quarter inch rails. And so they'll drop in nicely and you can epoxy them in there. What is that for? Well, the concrete is a little delicate against something like a cast iron pot flying across you know, from the stove. And so uh, I, I've always recommended putting these in in various areas, kind of acting like trivets uh, do. And that's why we call it uh, uh, trivet strips. But they're, they're long, and you can use them as a decorative tool as well as this practical application of protecting the concrete. So here we are with a finished piece, and we flip the countertop over, and you can see here the rail and trivet strip, the rubber strip is in, in, in the countertop. And we simply would remove this very easy, it'll pop right out, and it'll leave a clean recess in here, 5 16 and then we have our quarter inch uh, brass rod, and it would go in, and it would simply fit in like that. And you notice how that sort of brightens up the concrete, so it is definitely an aesthetic element. Um, it also helps protect the surface of the concrete from abrasion with pots and pans and cast iron and things like that. And what we use to adhere it is we use, uh, we like to use a two-part epoxy adhesive called PC7 and you mix it up together as in a little paste and I suggest masking off with masking tape on either side, don't get all a big mess everywhere and then place the, the rail in there, squeeze it in, clean it up and let it set for a day. What you might notice in an aesthetic way is that these rails um, emphasize the line and they also sort of stitch across the seam. Oftentimes we don't like our countertops to get too long. So uh, for handling purposes and also for cracking. So there might be a seam here and this stitches over, aesthetically stitches over the idea of this line and uh, really ties it back together. I always like to say that good design is the most important tool to execute a great countertop. But to execute that good countertop, you need to know what tools you'll need and how to use them. This is Futong Cheng.